Hey, it's me, Destin. It is late. The kids are in bed, so it's uh, time to work on the next project. So this time around, we're going to start trying to take photos of stuff being hit by bullets at the exact moment that they're hit by bullets. It's called high-speed photography, not like high-speed video like you've seen on TV. But uh, it's really within the reach of most people. They just don't realize it. It doesn't take a lot of insanely special equipment. Just It's all timing. So um, what we're going to do is I've got a flash unit here. This is a, a real nice flash that my mom gave me for Christmas. She gives the best presents ever. But uh, all we're going to do is we're going to create a circuit, or actually just put one together that's already created for us, to flash this at the exact time we want to. Um, it's really not that, not that hard. What I've got is a breadboard circuit that I bought just off the internet. Uh, I bought this one from HiViz.com, H-I-V-I-Z.com. And uh, I have what's called the, the multi-trigger. It can trigger things either on sound, which I'm going to use for my rifle shot, or uh, you can do photo gates, things like that. So m several different inputs, and then it'll put a delay on it. You can you know put 20 milliseconds, let's say, or 2 milliseconds, whatever delay you need. You can put on after the rifle shot so that the flash will go off right when the bullet hits the, the target. It's pretty cool, but it's not that hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how long it takes to uh, put together this circuit. Uh, I've got an electrical engineer buddy of mine that put it together for me already, but um, it's not got a lot of mechanical integrity right now. So I'm going to take his circuit back apart and put it back together so that it's a little tighter. But, you know, sorry, Sterling. You did a great job, I promise. This is what time it is now. And what's that? Whatever. So we will see how long it takes me to uh, take this part, put it back together. Okay, I'm done. It is now this o'clock, whatever time that is. One comment I often get on my videos is, man, seems like you sure have a lot of free time. I don't, I just don't sleep. So what have we built? So we have a circuit on a breadboard and connected to the circuit is a piezo transducer, which uh, is sensitive to sound. So uh, the way this particular circuit works is I'll turn my flash on here and uh, any sharp sound will initiate a flash, just like that. So uh, you can adjust the sensitivity and uh, the reset time and things like that. You can even put a delay from the point of the sharp sound until you want the flash to fire. You can input a delay time via a couple of potentiometers. There's a coarse and a fine potentiometer that you can adjust down and uh, get whatever flash that you want. It's kind of fun. I like doing that connect the flash to the circuit via what's called a PC connector. It's not personal computer, it's actually Prontor Compor, which is a couple of flash companies from back in the 50s that standardized the connection to synchronize flashes to cameras uh, over in the UK and Germany. So what do you do with this? Uh, you can do several things. Let's say that you wanted to, oh, I don't know, take a picture of a bottle breaking, which is really hard to do to get the timing right. So you can get said bottle, and you can turn all the lights out, open the shutter, drop the bottle, and when the bottle hits the ground, you get a flash. And that flash will expose the shutter, or excuse me, expose the chip on your DSLR, and you get a really cool photo. It's pretty neat. Another thing you can do is you can vary the output on your flash. This particular flash that I have has a uh, built-in exposure compensation, so it'll quench the flash. Uh, there's a gentleman named Andrew that taught me how to do this. Really, really cool. This particular flash, the minimum power output it'll do is 120, one 128th of a full output flash. And I hooked it up to an oscilloscope and that is about 160 microseconds duration, which is very, very short. So you can achieve shutter speeds much faster than anything your mechanical shutter on your, your camera can do, which is awesome. The world was created with physical laws and we are put here on this earth and we have an opportunity to explore the world, explore creation within those physical laws. All the answers are already there. We just got to find them. 
So that's what I like doing. So that's it. Anyway, have a good night or whatever. <laughs>